What's up guys, this is the Rifleman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Napoleon Total War Let's Play as Great Britain. So the round off where we finished the last part, we successfully freed up Chatham Docks from the Dutch fleet and we also beat off a first French attack in Britannia. Uh, under this guy, Dantian Colbert. Well actually it wasn't him, it was a, uh, a, a colleague of his who rather sadly bought it. But we do need to hold on to this region and this is going to be tricky and one thing I need to do is a priority for next turn is upgrade my ordnance factory so I can build 9 pounders because right now I am at an artillery disadvantage. Um, but we have an army here at Copenhagen which may eventually go down and hit Hanover um, ultimately because I'm allied with Prussia and I'm at peace with a few of these nations so I could just go hit Hanover to put the pressure on the French. Um, that and to be a bit more offensive. I need to be a keeper careful. Actually, I might do that. Actually, plot them down there. And keep a careful eye on the Swedish. Well, I'm just allied with Sweden. And they shouldn't have a reason to, to hate me yet. And then Arthur Wellesley is going to be port hopping his way around. And he is going to take Gibraltar. Because I want to open up options against uh, attacking the Spanish. So it's tempting to take Gibraltar. It's tempting to build up this guy here. Um, what was it? Alexander Abercrombie. And hit Pamplona, but he might be a bit isolated. So maybe Bordeaux, I don't know. Maybe just land and threaten Madrid. Um, so in terms of research and tech, logistics is good. Am I building a new drill school in London? I am, good. But yeah, I definitely need this. Great arsenal, because it's starting to impact my... It's starting to impact my um, military capability. So this is the French, this is the... Ooh, no, the drill school gets me Black Watch and British Grenadiers. Wicked. Let's hit and turn. There you go. Just putting my spy down there to keep a bit of early warning. Yeah, they're going to... Oh, I thought they were going to push me out of Le Havre. Oh, there's a fresh French army coming out of Paris. Yeah, they don't want to engage me. After we just gave them an absolute pasting. I do need to repair my farm to increase replenishment rates, uh, which unfortunately got sabotaged. So I want to, well, yeah, push on all fronts because I have done world domination, which is 60 regions. So is that Prussia? Okay, so we've got logistics, which has helped reduce recruitment costs and such like, I believe. Oh, God. Build a new farm. More farms, more replenishment. Um, one thing I want to do before I forget and spend all my money. Great arsenal. Because I have total mastery of the seas, I can just afford to island hop or to uh, to port hop, I suppose. So... I'm just going to have just do that. Actually, no, I'll just keep building one per turn. Don't need to go too crazy. Let's put Indiaman. Look at it going. Oh, this is an, an, my, another another battle fleet. So let's move you down to here. You're going to hold because you still need to replenish. And you. It's going to be eight turns till I get new artillery, so I can't really wait. Let's get some King's German Legion and a British Dutch Light Dragoon Mounted Skirmishers. Now I'll just get some Light Dragoons. Well, they're all Mounted Skirmishers. And then let's get... Let's get some foot artillery. And then get a couple of units of line to start to build up this army for, for ops. Are you recruiting anything? You are! In you go. You're still damaged, so you can't rebuild. So just blockade them. Just prevent all trade. Good. And this is Nelson down here. So when I take Gibraltar, this will become a military docks, and this will be Nelson's new home port. But it'll still take me a turn to get down there. And I'm probably going to get a load of Doom Spain stacks. So actually, I might want to just anchor Wellesley here, 
for this army and wait for this army to recruit so I can drop them both off here and have one of them like sprint to hold a bridgehead. Some magistrates being built. So it's basically just developing my economy, which is going well. So you've got logistics. Just need to wait for a drill school to be built. Uh, unions gets me Court of Appeals, but Court of Appeals gets me Line of Sight, plus some happiness. Uh, so that's like a big economic hit. So I think I probably want... Hmm, reduces recruitment cost. That's pretty big. Plus, yeah. I think I want metric system. Speed up my technology research rate. Sweet, I think that's the plan for me. Do you recruit anything else? Yeah, you are. So you're probably, I'm probably going to send those out to... Oh, this is a, like a, a regular... Oh, this is like a, a guard fleet for up here. So I'll probably just deploy them here in the gap. And then I'll probably recruit, send some of these ships out to fill up other fleets, I think. Cool, let's hit end turn. So that, yeah, so that, yeah, that army on the peninsula is, on the spit of land, is looking vulnerable. So I may have to deploy an army, in whatever shape it may be to reinforce it. Ultimately, if I lose that as a foothold, I don't mind. It's given me a bit of action, a bit of experience in the game at the start. And ultimately, it was an objective. It might be worth actually checking my objectives. Could I effectively get away with destroying everything and pulling my army out? Oh, Spain's coming for Portugal, I think. So are you. Admiral available. John Thomas Duckworth. Lovely. George Elphiston is an admiral, so he gains movement on the campaign map. I've got a feeling you're on your way. And we are not that badly depleted. I mean, Scott's light infantry got a bit hammered. So I don't want to do any more building. Do I have any more objectives? Some victory conditions. Diplomacy. I think that was it. Ministers. Oh, yes. Rubbish ministers, don't I? So let's boot you. You're still bad. You don't do anything. You don't do anything. You don't do anything. These guys are all just... useless. So then let's do... A great Museum. Plus 16 to Town Wells. Pretty big. So let's get. So you're getting your guns. Get another gun. Your orders, your so you've got four guns. Let's get you some more fusiliers. How many can I get? Let's get. Max out my fusiliers. Get some line infantry. Then get some light infantry. That'll probably be it. In terms of as far as recruitment needs are. But let's go and hit Gibraltar. I think I need to keep the pressure on whatever it may need to be. Then let's put you well, you can't go anywhere. But I did see a Spanish movement up here near the Austin, near the, the Portuguese, so you need to be careful about that. Speaking of Portugal. Alliance? Fair enough. Yeah, trade reset, trade ships being built. We'd still just dump them down on ivory. Eventually, I'm just going to stop doing this because I'm going to have enough trade to make it not worth bothering about. Like ultimately, I've got loads of trade as it is. Unfortunately, some of my Although maybe it looks like my demand is higher than um, what I can supply. So I might actually put put these two ships in the port. 
don't know, do I pull them back? Do, effectively, do I pull them back and land them down in Spain? Because this is a bit of a bottleneck. I'd rather have a pushed a front, which I can move with supporting troops. You know what? That's what I'm going to do. After the lives lost. I don't think... After the lives lost and the investment made, I think... Ultimately, this is the better decision. Is to do this. Because I can knock... I can attempt to knock out Spain. I can attempt to knock out Spain. And provide a combined thrust against the French. This would be too much of a... It's like holding Bengal and India in Empire Total War, if that makes sense. You're too far gone. You're too far out of the way. You only really want to go for it if you can put your strength into it. Let's keep going for repairs. I may as well get a great museum. And I may as well... Oh, let's forget Scotland. Merchant House. Merchant House is pretty big. Scottish Drill School, though, is also pretty big. It gets me the Earl of Uxbridge, which I definitely want. And it also gets me the Black Watch. And does it also get me... No, but it gets me... Well, it does get me the Black Watch. That's what I, that's, I would very much like the Black Watch. Let's upgrade you to a commercial port. Good, good, good. That's my famous battle. Good. And then let's recruit a unit of... Ooh, European... Ooh, Black Brunswickers. You look pretty good. Let's get you a unit of Black Brunswickers to act as a minor garrison. I mean, you shouldn't need it, because we're at peace with a bunch of people. Like, we're, good at, we're good friends with you. Good friends with Oldenburg. Okay, maybe if I could land on Gibraltar and have two armies moving up against Madrid... Or I can at least have one pushing and one following, boiling back for a punishment. So Prussia's successfully managed to barter for territory off of Russia, I suppose. Saxony's formed, or has still exists. But yeah, the French are driving eastwards. There's no worry about me, me you know, am I going to be too powerful at the start of the game? That's not, not a problem. Alright, let's hit end turn, because I'm pretty sure... Or not. I was expecting that stack to run straight to it. Well, that one will do it. Yep, that'll do it. Feel free to not. I will accept, monsieur. For the sake of the arm, these civilians of France, it makes no sense for me to have them killed. Um, but yes, ultimately I think it was the better decision. I need to concentrate my armies. On the continent. More so than I have already done. Ah, yes, the Spanish. That's the Sp Ooh, so. Yeah, Britannia, Britain lost. But that was something I did on my terms. So let's take you. I definitely saw something Spanish moving around in the dark. So that's probably just going to be a quick... Yeah. Peacefully occupy, because it's a former British territory. Let's get you some walls. Let's get you into port. Well, actually, let's make you hit Cadiz. Hit Cadiz. Then land your men ashore. Then join up with Lord Nelson. Yeah, third and a second rate. He'll be appreciative with his veteran fleet. But there is Sir John Moore. And we have finally got a foothold in Gibraltar, in Spain. Then we'll push up and hit Madrid. Ultimately, I only need to keep ferrying supplies and troops down here. There you go. Got the guns. Good. Let's hit and turn. Right, my trade ship's getting in position. But yes, I think it's the better decision. 
I want to have, if I want to push into France, I want to have my armies concentrated. I want to have them be able to support each other, particularly with this reinforcement metric. Um, and even with Bengal, um, in Empire, it was e Ooh, that's Portuguese. Good. Even with Bengal, it was easier to just. One of your sea trade routes is under attack from an enemy fleet. Without your intervention. <laughs> Fine. General available, Robert Crawford. Black Bob Crawford! I know you. Oh, you were the commander of the... You were the original commander of the Light Division? Or you became the commander of the, of the Light Brigade? Light Division? Light Brigade? I remember in... What's it? Mark Urban's book rifles very good book if you want to read about the history of the 95th rifles and the actions and stuff like that black bob crawford definitely build a barracks because i'm going to need to start to spawn lots of just just troops just out of this region that'd be the most handy thing without further ado push up let's see what's out there Let's try to push you up to this bridge. I mean, you're still replenishing, actually. So you're no, you are no longer. Actually, I probably should have kept you in here until you were fully replenished. C'est la vie. There you go, another third rate. Ah, oh, good. Actually means I can take you this. Fencibles out. Got Alexander Abercrombie embarked. Send him down to maybe into La Corona and just start pushing Spain from this angle. Well, no, he's well, yeah, still got to put the pressure on. And let's take the third rate, keep you there for now. But yes, may as well just start pushing on Madrid. So if I can capture Madrid, that would be a massive recruitment centre. I mean, it will probably suck, and they'll really hate me for it, but it will mean that there's a massive region on the continent that I can replenish troops in, which would be very, very handy. And would I liberate them? Hell no. Right now, they're not a friendly nation. If it was friendly Spain, and Spain had been conquered, and I recaptured it, then I would. But as of right now, it's not. So I'm not gonna. Aha! Here come the Spanish. So that's the steam engine. Workers on strike in, strike in jib. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's upgrade the mines. Factory, give me a steam fouled factory. Yeah, I can, I can recruit. Artillery is cheap to recruit here, but I can't actually recruit anything, so that's probably a bit dumb for me to build. Uh, dockyard. Road. Well, no, don't bother with uh, roads. Okay, so I may as well. Well push you up I may as well move Wellesley to at least have a look at Madrid there's no one in there well, they've, they'll, get, they'll get a garrison but that's about it and they've they're already they're depleted lay siege to Madrid I suppose particularly if it's going to be an army like that to maintain the siege of Madrid, John Moore, you stay there and replenish, and you, well, maybe actually, we'll move up to here at the very least, because you may yet get a chance to. Well, it probably won't actually. If I shut you back here, hmm. I'm trying to make sure, see if I can get them to replenish at the same time, but it would appear not. Yeah, there they withdrew. Go ready to rock and roll. Let's get you back into Portsmouth. Let's be able to steam dry dock. 
gets me steamships, ironclads. I'm fascinated to try ironclads. Ironclad steamships, steam paddle frigates. I bet they just look fun. Good. Steam dry dock. Big investment. So let's get you on to... Feel... Ooh, 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 right. These are some good ones. So I want you to go for field ambulances, I suspect. And I don't want you to do trade unions. You want to make everyone unhappy. Probably want you to go for... Grand Battery as well. Or Carcass Shot to get howitzers. Or to unlock the next level of of uh, infantry or, or barracks. The 95th Rifles, Rifles, Light Dragoons, King's German Legion, Dragoons, Royal Scots, Greys, the 15th is ours, holy moly. I think... Well, definitely when you're doing field hospitals, I want Oxford doing. I would like some economy, but there's nothing really great. Steam power frigate. I don't know. Plateways might be handy, as I'm getting mines being upgraded in my own home territory with steam pumps, but the actual wealth I get is pretty low. So... Let's go for Grand Battery, it's only four. Good. Could probably do building Nelson's Column too, if I'm going to have a big navy. But cool, let's hit and turn. So like, it operates, is to get my army from the northwest down to also support my attack on Madrid. Then I'd probably send one of them to go take do a bit of island hopping, I think. So I want to send... If I could take Madrid, knock out these two Spanish provinces. Yeah, I knew they were going to go. Ah, I'm defending it's a force of Spanish attackers. Absolutely. For us. Um, so I've always been a bit concerned about casualty ex uh, exchange rates and things like that. But I think um, it's going to work out in our favour. Because we've got that fresh army coming in from the northwest. So even if I don't, if my even if the exchange isn't as favourable as I would like, uh, we've still got reinforcements coming. So let's take my artillery. Keep them limbered for now, and on a walk, on advance them up. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh. Yeah. Let's take my guns, I'll plonk them up on top of this hill for sure. Three line infantry on the f this flank. One, two, oh, so it's going to be King's German Legion and two units of these guys. Maybe the Black Watch on this flank because it looks a bit longer. Oh, the first light horse out on the flank. Let's get my first light foot out on the right. Oh, I did steal an infantry unit actually to achieve that. So I think if I'm going to push on a flank, it will be on the left. Oh, did he leave you behind? We may as well go out on this flank then. And then stretch my light infantry out. I should put my light infantry... Yeah, stretch them out a bit. Because they are... They're coming to attack me, aren't they? They are sallying out, so... Ooh, 
It's a bit laggy. Yeah, that's more like it. Fear not, men. Your countrymen are arriving in the... Well, they're not arriving in this battle. But they are on the continent. Under the guise of Sir John Moore. Ah, oh, you're a bit... Some of these units are a bit thickly deployed. Oh, well. Actually, I could do, probably, with you guys actually being more like here. Or maybe here. actually do that. And my other howitzers, artillery. So they're, they're, they are pushing on the left. Well, they're, so they're all going to bunch up on this flank. So let's do this. And these three can be ready to advance through the town, in which case I probably want my Dragoons on the right. Wellesley's going to get in position. Yeah, they're all bouncing over onto my right. And there we go. Then you guys... Unlimber. Unlimber. They're all sergeants. Come on, you Spanish fellows. So, this is Madrid, huh? This is it, huh? Shame I can't get in there. So what I might do is do this. And then this. To make sure this cathedral isn't, or monastery, or church. Church is probably the better title than monastery. Let's pivot you guys back a bit to make sure you don't get your heads blown off. Well... Hmm. My trip speed it a bit to see what the AI does. So, because right now we are engaging... Let's just check my other battery to make sure if they are they actually firing. No, they are not. Oh, that's because the only things they can shoot at aren't in range. So how about them? There we go. They were trying to shoot at a target they couldn't see, and the AI was freaking out about it. Let's get you to hit them and you to hit them. Oh, these are nine pounders. Lovely. See, because I had because I have the artillery advantage, I'm a bit reluctant to actually attack because. I can get make I can get it just makes sense for me to use my artillery so I'm just going to triple speed it a bit cuz I if they, I won't be surprised if they just kind of use the same AI or similar AI from from Empire so the AI is just going to fidget for a bit when it finally figures out what it wants to do and then it'll move up but it looks like it's going to 
run guys left and right and left and right. So I'm going to have a bit of Pepsi. Pepsi Max. Hmm. Okay, so what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to cut the recording here. And then I will bring you guys back when something actually happens, like when they advance. So, see you in a sec, guys. Okay, guys, I've sat here long enough. I'm not just going to sit here and watch my, my artillery blow the hell out of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this artillery, limber them up. And I'm going to deploy them up on this position with my other guns. And then we're going to form a line and we're going to advance. That's going to be my plan, I think. Because this is just stupid. Doesn't mean it's going to be a very thick line. I might just move these guys in reserve. Whoops. Did I blow a load of my own guys away? I sure did. Man, let's just speed it up. Because I think the eye must be bugged. Because they've just kind of been sat there... Walking, not walking, walking, not walking, walking, not walking, walking, not walking. Oh, Jesus Christ, just pick a lane. Oh, I'm not going to sit here and just waste a bunch of time. Especially my own time. And your guys' time. That's just dumb. So, let's take my super line... effectively just there you go I can pick up one an extra unit so I might dot my reserves out a bit more Because they're not... See, they're doing it again. They're just shuffling from side to side. They're not actually moving up or trying to do anything. So... I might just anchor my... Anchor my infantry against the town. Then when these guys are ready, just move up. Oh, are they finally moving up? It looks like they actually might be. About bloody time. Pushing on the right, on the right, I can see it. Oh yeah, and their artillery is starting to engage my artillery. So, limber up, unlimber. Then let's go here. Let's run my reserves. Actually, let's deploy my reserves. For reality, I probably want to do this. Do that. Be more fun. It does leave this guy infantry unit a bit on the wing. So I want to move up, move my troops up out of this little sink. There we go. 
Troops have engaged right on the red line. So this is where the problems are going to be because it's like they're massing for a. Uh... Here comes the cavalry. So let's bring my hussars back here. This is going to be an interesting... Oh god, light infantry, stop! You're shooting your own friends! For the love of god! It looks like it might be a mass rout. Oh, they... You can't even fire it. You're not even firing at will! Fire! Pour your musket fire into them! Oh yes, look at all those running Spanish flags. Nope, they're not going in, so... Deploy sensibly then. Oh, look at that. Stop. There you go, if you want to get involved, you can you can be a regular line company. Ah yes, my artillery. Oh yeah, all those troops just left the battlefield straight away because they're right on the edge. Come on, you guys want to fight? These armed citizenry are having a wonderful day out, apart from the odd people that fall over and die. But Let's get my light dragoons out. Let's get ready to go hit this armed citizenry. Oh, you're not firing at will either. Darn. My nine pounders try to snipe their general. Use my six pounders to hit infantry. Let's just bring a bring an infantry unit in to fight against the uh, far like armed citizenry. Bit of infantry support. Them who's ours are going to do great, but a little bit of infantry never hurt. Looks like they're going to be. Well, the entire Spanish garrison's routing. Which is all to the good. Because next month I intend to march into Spain and give Marshal Victor a damn good thrashing. Not smart placement, but I've got so many troops it doesn't really matter. I should be chasing them down, I think, technically, but meh. 
It's been such a non-battle that I just don't really care. Oh, that's their general. I'm pretty sure that's their general. Yeah, it is. And they're routing under concentrated artillery fire. Soon to be mine, it is mine. The only thing that's here is these guns that are being. Yeah, you go, and they're off. I'm pretty sure a Spanish militia army just effectively folded in midair. So. I want to continue it, take all my howitzers. So let's bring my. Let's bring my general into the mix. Make him chase down this gun team. Once they make it past my lines, that is. Get him! Ah, they routed. No, get the gun team too. Is it going to be too late? Probably. No. Might have a shot. Sir. Sir. Our general is under attack. Ah, they're going to get away. Four guys. Ah, oh, then hit that down. That darn uh, militia unit looks like he's been snagged up on buildings. So they're absolutely scattered to the uh, seven corners of the globe. So they're not going to be around for much longer. But they will get picked off. But yeah, these guys, these are these sprinters at the front. They're going to be the ones that save them. Armed citizenry. 49 out of 500 remaining, though. It's not bad. Close victory. Close. What game were you watching? A close fight. Like they just folded like a wet paper bag in the first first few minutes. Oh, look at that. Two and a half thousand lost for 600 in mine. Yeah, you're going to hightail it. Oh, then I can't replenish because that's not my border. That's the river. Dumfries. Yeah, why not? Um, but looking at the timer. Actually, no, before I do that. What do the odds on this still look? Pretty darn good. But let's bring him up. Or do I run him onto Pamplona? Because that's gonna I'm gonna capture Spain, I just am. So I might just run him onto Pamplona. Aha! Yeah, just Yeah, you go on to Pamplona. Cause Arthur Wellesley is going to take Madrid. And he's going to try and... Oh, I can't demand surrender because it's probably a reason... Oh, capital. John Moy, probably going to... Well, I want to capture Madrid so I can get my replenishments so I can hound the Spanish to oblivion. Are you recruiting anything? No, because it's broken. So let's get back there. Things are all being built. Good. Um, yeah, so now I've done a bit of that. A bit of that final sorting out. Now, looking at the timer, it's definitely time to end the part. So, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed, and I will see you next time for the next part where we knock out the Spanish capital and take Madrid. So I want to take Madrid. Um, St. Alexander de Abercrombie Pamplona. I'd like to... Oh, see, three armies would be handy. Can you transverse? You can. Right, so one through here to Bordeaux. One to go up here to take Toulouse. One to take Barcelona, and then go take... Then hop on a ship to take Palma. Then maybe start doing things like take Corsica, land on Marseille. You know, just be... Be a bit of a scamp in the Mediterranean. I think that's my plan. And I can move Nelson out, put a ba base in prob in the Balearic Islands if I can build there. Yeah, there's a trading port, so I build a dockyard here. Actually, I'll keep this as a dockyard. I'll just keep this and keep this as a trade port. I'll just base him in Menorca so I can range further eastward in pursuit of my political aims. But yes, looking at the timer, I think that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I will see you next time.